Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a tip I picked up recently uh, for doing color grading, which is like putting a look onto an image just using the color balance control. And so I go to the adjustments and color balance. And first of all, the tonal range go to shadows. So I start off in shadows and then I can say, how am I going to tint the shadows? There's a lot of, so kind of blue in here. So let's put more cyan in, into this. So I'll drop this down, say to minus 20 and blue up to plus 20. What you do here, just remember the settings you've got here. You can balance those together. You can see the effect this has had in the lake. This made that richer. But remember those settings because we then next go to the highlights and we do the opposite. So we went minus 20 on cyan red, so we go plus 20. And then we went plus 20 on yellow blue, so we go minus 20. And already we've got a lock appearing, so I turn that off and on. So I've got a bit more pink in the sky, and that's okay. So that adds a little bit of interesting colour to it because this is about giving it a look. Because it's giving those whites a look, that, that look which balances out the shadows. That's the idea, is you balance the lights and the shadows. So then I go to the midtones, and this is where I play about a little bit and see if I can sort of get something that works all together. I could might might not do anything here. So I might say turn at that magenta a bit, or maybe go towards the green. So I don't have quite so much pink in the sky. And maybe a little bit of yellow bringing out the these areas here. And maybe just a little bit of cyan. So it's just the final tweaks in the midtones. And that's it. That's all you do. Key thing is what you do in the shadows, you do the opposite in the highlights. And then you use the midterms to balance or do nothing at all. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.